Okay, I want to talk to you about white today because it's just gotten so big that that's just all anyone's doing is asking for white, paint their house white, and there's all kinds of problems with that. So first, here's where the whole white obsession came from. I mean, really leading up to the Tuscan trend, we've been doing earth tones for like over 30 years. And through the 90s, it was everything was sage green, right? And then the 80s, well, the 80s was a little more emeralds, right? Forest greens, but it were, they were still uh, muddier colors. I mean, even the sage green that's in now is a brighter, it's a little bit cleaner than it was in the 80s. Anyway, so fast forward and went through the gray trend. And now, of course, gray has had its 10-year life cycle and... So it's over. I mean, color trends last 10 years and that's when people start looking for something new. I mean, it's not that it's not that marketers are saying, hey, here's the next color. No, it's just that people get tired of the same thing. And so now, because it's too soon, it was just too soon to go back to beige. That's the reason why suddenly stark white, everyone thinks feels that feels the freshest, right? So here's the issue with that, if you read the post up until this point, is that if you don't have the furniture to pull it off, if you don't have the light that comes through, because white really is a snob, if you don't have those things, then you will be unhappy. That You paint your house stark white and you will get the light reflection off the green from the trees, off of a nearby building, off of whatever is bouncing into your not well lit Face. And so I have the answer. It is either a complex cream or a grayish. Now, I've been doing grayish in our e design department, you know, in consultations for the last, I mean, almost as long as the gray trend is here, is how long I've been specifying grayish. So, um, grayish is just the lightest shade of the palest shade of taupe, the palest shade of green gray, the palest shade of violet gray. And so then the other category that's gonna save you is the world of complex creams. Now that's the category of the lightest shades of beige. Now, if you, and they read like cream in the end, right? And so if you actually look at your furniture, turn around and just look at the background of your furniture right now, it's not like a stark white color. I mean, take a piece of paper and like hold it up, you know, against your um, throw pillows or your sofa. I mean, I just, I was just in a new build right before Christmas and um, everything was painted like Chantilly lace, you know, um, stark white. And the fur her furniture was all kind of grayish and cream and wild the true white paint color did not clash with the furniture. It wasn't perfect, but she was not offended by it because, because it didn't clash, right? I mean, if she had painted that whole new build the wrong gray, right? If everything that she had introduced into her space was a green gray and yet she happened to choose a blue gray on the walls, well, then she'd be upset. Then she'd be calling the painter, right? But she didn't because she wasn't offended by that. So that's fine. She you know, she's okay over there, right? With her true white walls and everything. But you as the colorist or the homeowner, if you are struggling because you're now updating your space, you're not dealing with a perfect new build, right? Where you're not dealing with all those earthy finishes that so many people are still, they still have in their house. I mean, you know, we can't afford to every 10 years rip out the kitchen and put in a new one. So if you're still dealing with an earthy Tuscan kitchen or earthy Tuscan finishes in your house, white is so not the answer. So I will be covering, I will be spending an entire half day on in my upcoming spring Specify Color with Confidence workshops called the White Workshop, where I'm gonna go through from A to Z exactly how to choose the right white. And the right white could look like the right grayish or the right complex cream. Because basically you need to be in those paler shades if white isn't gonna do it for you. And so what a complex cream means, because I know that's kind of a new distinction in my system, 
it's just that I'm, the reason why I'm calling it a complex cream is even though it's the lightest shades of beige, it ends up reading cream on the walls because it's so pale, but also because it has more pigments in it. And this way it, um, it's sort of probably going to give you less grief with the light, right? Because if you just paint your walls like white or just like an off-white or a cream, which is, you know, just like white with yellow in it, basically, you've got more of a chance of getting that light reflection, okay? So stay tuned because I'm going to write more posts about white. I know that it's a huge conversation and uh, so many people are, you know, it's January, it's new build season and it's renovation planning time and I can help you in our e-design department. So check below for the links and thanks for watching. Bye for now.